On this episode of Grassroots Garage, I'm very jealous because Pete's in my unicorn. You said the RS Cosworth was your unicorn. In a previous episode of GRG, Pete got to meet his unicorn. It was the 22B Subaru WRX. Well, let me tell you, my friends, this one is my unicorn. Uh, yeah, Pete, I can have two unicorns, mate. And Todd's 69 Triple S Coupe is my unicorn. Well, my other unicorn. I still love that RS. When we met up with Todd last time, the idea was floated to take a trip out to Lithgow. I'll get some cars organised was all Todd said. So a couple of months later, Pete turns up to an absolutely stunning set of Datsun 1600s. Two beautiful Mark II Escorts and one of the best damn bacon and egg rolls he's ever eaten. Now that's hospitality. We want to again thank Brad for opening up the garage for us. As well as a Lithgow small arms factory. We had another venue booked, but we needed to scramble at the last minute. One phone call to the museum to see if we could use that awesome factory as a backdrop. We got the thumbs up, so we're very grateful. Even the local general duties police wanted to pop in and check out these immaculate cars. You've met Sharon, Matt, Todd's brother Craig, and the man whose workshop played a big part in getting Serdak completed. And that's Ben from Salukovic Smash. Ben is the man behind this amazing panel work on Serdat. And wasn't there a lot of that? When these pics surfaced on some of the Datsun pages before Summer Nats, minds were absolutely blown at the amount and detail of this bodywork. Sir Dat is a top 20 Summer Nats car, and the craftsmanship on every inch of this thing has to be seen in person. Welcome to Grassroots Garage, this is Sir Dat, and I've got Todd. Todd, thanks for your time, man. No worries, Pete. Todd, tell us about this car. This is my 1969 Datsun 1600 or 510 Triple S Coupe. It was imported from Japan back in I think 2002 I imported it in and um, then it sort of sat in my shed for about a year or two. When we first imported the car it, um, it showed up to my place and it was um, sight unseen sort of bought off the internet and then once it showed up um, me and my brother we started pulling it apart and gutted it. I think they dragged it behind the boat. It was completely <laughs> rusted out it was. It was horrible. Um, it was quite a disheartening too you know. Um, but the bloke who I bought it off, I had a, you know, an argument sort of thing, a bit with him, you know, and he, he, he decepted me, but we worked out a price and we were both sort of happy with yeah, it, so, yeah. yeah. So it just tripled the, the workload of the panel beater, didn't it? It did, yes. It was a big job, very, yeah. 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 Completely gutted, top to bottom, every panel, every quarter, everything, mate. There wasn't a thing on this car that hasn't been touched. I remember seeing a video once. That's what I'm doing, yeah. Like, that was like the eight pound. Yeah. <laughs> well, the engine itself, it's a 2.2 litre FJ20. It's a stroker motor. It was built by Pete McDonald back at uh, Les Collins Racing about three or four years ago. It's got the big cams. It's got the, um, the custom plenum creation. Uh, billet inlet manifold. Um, it's got the 3582R GTX uh, new turbo on a six boost manifold. Uh, Haltech uh, ECU 1500 with the dash. FJ. FJ, mate, FJ. yeah. FJ. It's just because the rocker cover's Why been was flattened. I expecting an SR20? Never. FJ. Never, mate, never. FJ yeah. all the way. I'm an FJ man, and I've known in the Datsun Club that, you know, they all know that I'm an FJ guy, you, you know. Go. Like, I, yeah. I am an FJ man. I wouldn't, you know, have it any other way, mate. So, that, so, this, so this rivalry. It is. This rivalry just it stepped up a level. I wasn't it really is. paying attention to the yeah. SR FJ thing going on. It's been on going on for the last 10 years. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to put an FJ yeah. in because he had the FJ. Right. And yeah. We already had a CA, right. so we yeah. said, let's do an SR. Right. SR. Yeah. Yeah. It is a thing, it is. We're always, I'm going to do this and we're going to do and He's beat me once and I beat him, so yeah. it's all. Yeah. What about our film car for the day? Happens to be an SR20 Dado 1600. Um, custom billet, also fuel rail, 2,200cc injectors. Um, all the lines are all speed. You know, they're all speed flow fittings. Oh, all speed flow, yeah. all braided. Everything is speed flow. Everything's all braided. Um, you know, just trying to think. So Drew, you know, it's the same Drew, the aluminium fabricator up mm -hmm. there. He makes all these and polishes. You know, is that so this is all cut. No, this is uh, stainless. 
That's okay. stainless, yeah. Yeah, good, good, good. yeah, it's stainless, the same Polish as that. Stainer, yeah, that. Yeah, and this is what he does too. Like he makes all this, he and then grinds all the welds out of it and oh, everything. You're like it. And the whole exhaust, you've seen it. There's a week's worth Easy, that, easy. And look at the bends, how it lobs the back on itself yeah, and everything. Yeah. Like the exhaust on it, you've seen it under there. Not a mark, like it's pol the whole, like you can see from the top to the bottom. And he made, you know, he made this custom air box. Um, is that, is, tell me there, are they um, ceramic coated, your exhaust? What's yes, the both of them, yeah, ceramic? that's ceramic coated. Yeah, They're, yeah. yeah. The, the rear, right yeah, the, that's ceramic coated, the boost mani six boost manifolds, black ceramic, and so is this. Very Just cool. the things, you know, you do things twice, everything's been done twice. It was, I had a ceramic coated silver. And then it didn't match, so you know I had to strip it off, and then yeah. but you need it black, and then I'd bought and this, and then this didn't work. So you know it's sort of two and three over. I have done on the car. This oh, this ain't gonna work. But all right, let's buy this. And and being yeah. sixteen year build, you know shit's out of date. Yeah, you know, your stuff I had yeah. sixteen years ago, like yeah. it's. You know, I had a Motec M4 for it. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> Was that yeah, running on DOS? Is it making the Yeah, day? it still does. I have to. I've got the special computer. Like it only runs with it. But yeah. you know, and then it's like I uh, put a how tech in it. You know, go all out. So PJ from PJ's Quick Bits, he organised all me um, computers, injectors, all that kind of stuff. Nah. You've seen PJ's car, you'd heard of PJ, wouldn't you? Probably. I'm He's sure got the, you know, the eight second daily driven Sylvia thing. Everybody knows PJ. Yeah, yeah. Advan Motorsport. He's been around yes. for years. So. Uh, brand new windscreen? Yeah. Brand new front windscreen, mate. Yes, brand new front windscreen. That's very cool. Um, all the rest of them are all, um, you know, just second hand. A lot of the chrome moulds, because you can't get nothing from here. So I had a bloke called Craig Ford in Japan. He was wrecking them. So we. Um, yeah. So I got on to him and he, he sourced out a lot of parts for me, which I know, mm -hmm. which wouldn't be fit. So I've got two lots of these. I've got two lots of this. I've got two of everything at home. Two, you know, so I went, this is the best, and then sent the best out to be polished and stainless, you know, Sick. and all this. So. Yeah. And then what's left now, you know, I paid like 100 or 200 bucks 15 years ago for them. They're worth a fortune oh, now. So, you know, I've yeah. got to keep another set for myself and then sell the other ones. Yeah, like, these, like the badges, like yeah. Like this, you know, like... Yeah, that's metal too. You don't see these because this is cast. Yes. So these okay. are casts because the 69 come out of casts, all the rest of them are plastic. Ah, so I've got right. three sets of these at home, you know, yeah. and I went through the three and these are the best, best set. Ones. You know, brand new, nice badges in it. Um, yeah, I better cut that bit out where you say you've got three of them at home. Yeah, I always get it. Eh? <laughs> it's all good. What, uh, so um, what brakes are you running? Um, the rear are a uh, R31 Skyline yeah. on a DBA 296 disc, I think. I'm not 100% short, and the front's DBA as well, and they're a Nissan GDR four-spot caliper. And, and you, so you've done a custom offset on these Simmons, haven't yes, you? Yes, yeah, they are. Yeah, so the stagger, they've got these yeah. uh, sevens on the front and the eight and a halfs on the back. Which, which do nothing to help your traction. No, they still don't. No, they still <laughs> Um, all the radiator, the inner cooler, all the pipe work, the exhaust, everything was all custom made by um, the Zalukovic Smash, which it's all a family affair. So Ben's the painter, um, his best mate lives around the corner, he does all the trim, which is Wayne from Street Trim. And then we have um, his brother-in-law, which is Andrew, and he's the aluminium fabricator. He builds all the air boxes, the exhaust, inner coolers, pipings, all, all the uh, cross members, all that kind of stuff. The rest, all the um, suspension in it, it's all Dat Sport. It all come from Trace and Baz, Dat Sport. Yeah, Trace and Baz. Shout um, out, shout out <laughs> Trace and Baz. Yeah, it's um, they they got their struts all full, um, all their cross members, uh, engine mounts, all that kind of stuff from Dat Sport. All the every like the bumpers, the everything is original NOS, which I'd bought over the last 20 years. Yeah. Original yeah. old stock bumpers. Um, the everything. The only thing I had to do was the grill. I couldn't get, but that's just been refurbished. Yeah. Um, but it, it looks brand new. Everything else in the car is new from Nissan that I could get every... I have all the badges and everything for it, but I think it looks a lot better clean. clean. And that's yeah. how I wanted to put the badges on. I had an argument with Ben, and yeah. he said, I'm not putting them on till after summer, Nats, and I'm glad now. I don't think I will put them on. I okay. like it clean. Yeah. I'm more than happy with it. It is like the top is the same as the bottom. The inside, everything is in it. It's, cut, they cut have, the photos from underneath. They, it is amazing. Yeah, it, it is yeah. absolutely beautiful, yeah. you know, and the amount of custom things on it, the... The people wouldn't see, but it's just you know, yeah. and it's subtle, like you know, which I don't like to point out. But when someone like when someone comes up and goes, oh, that's and it's like, yeah, yeah, it is. You but you're, you're not going to notice it though, looking over the car. So, no, like I yeah. was under it at the at the workshop we were just at before, and um, 
and I and I had to walk away because every I'd, I'd look in one direction and I'd look look and I'd, and I'd be amazed at what I found and then I'd look somewhere else and find other little all the little time and features, features that have gone yeah. underneath. You me. don't notice till you get yeah. up. Everything is chrome plated. Everything is polished, painted. You know, there's every little proper nut and bolt. Like Ben spent like days polishing every little bolt, the Allen key heads. He sands them with his hands and then buffs every single bolt that's been wow. in that car. All it needs to do is just um, really now is go for its um, final tune and um, start to do some racing in it. Right? Yeah, and you can guarantee yeah. we'll be filming yes. that too. Yeah. <laughs> yes, for sure. Yeah, Love I'm that. hoping it should pull tens. It should, I'm hoping. Yeah. Oh man, I can't wait yeah. to see that. I can't. Look, made 515 horsepower on mixed motorsport dyno on running tune on 23 pounds. So yeah. I'm yeah. thinking with some nice semi slicks on it and um, I'm going to drive it too. I'm not, you know, but I won't put it on a trailer or this or that. I'll drive it from Lithgow, race yeah. it, and drive it home. Yeah, yeah, the last car we did, we did in, in, in Penrith. Now I'm in Lithgow today, but the, the Black Data, we yeah. filmed it in Penrith. I mean, even just the way those little floors light up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I wish you could. Are you film, you're filming? Yeah. I wish you could smell the this car. Yeah. It smells like a Ferrari. Yeah. A dead set. That's yeah. the only way to describe it. I get in and go, that's the smell of a Ferrari. Isn't yeah. it? it might be the same smell as an Audi and a yeah. Beamer but as well. But they all Bentley like and all that. They yeah, all come yeah. through the same one. And yeah. I had all this leather. Um, you know, as I said, I've got all in one stain, so I rang the bloke, I got onto a rep who come round and you know, I got bags of trim at home, you know, I went through this and said, this is what I want, and then anyway, he said, we've got six hides, I'll get you another, and he went, nah, because what you're doing, I'll get all in this one run, so, you know, I ordered, I think it was eight or ten hides, yeah, because so you, they were all... If you had different, like, you, you can't different, match it, you've got to get them in one Then one to die, yeah, so it was right. all yeah, the same yeah. die that it went through, yeah. and then um, with Wayne, Wayne the trimmer, he, he won't do black. Hates it. Oh, so wow. I took the two black hides up and said, I want some black in it. And then he yeah. rang me and said, I need some more. Oh, wow. So I went, all right, sweet. So I'm pretty sure it's about a good 12. All this is, he made everything. This door trim he made. This, yeah, you know, this, really he made the feature, seat, um, yeah. all the floors, the dash, you know. Yeah. These, little, these little things here, I don't know what yeah. you call them. Yeah, I'm not Shoelace sure. Rivets holes. or something. Yeah, <laughs> rivets of some sort. Yeah. Oh, I love that. And you even, I didn't even notice it like six months after I'd had the car. Look in the front window. Yeah, See I where he's got it. Ones, so that's me, Demista. Oh, so that's where, instead of having the Demista yeah, holes, that's yeah. where he's put these, you know, yeah. just cool little touches like that, which you don't see. He's an artist, man. Like, yeah. He's an artist. He's Wayne at Street Trim, mate. Yeah. That's who done it. And he's just a bloke, you know, does it sort of by himself. He's, he, you know, he's got his own business for him. All right, so I've got sort of the same as my um, black car. It's um, accelerator, push down to accelerate, forward to brake, and then horizontal's burnout. <laughs> <laughs> so then I've got my blinkers here, so that's my blinkers left and right, and then yeah. I've got my trans brake here, and then the same as my black car, the paddle shift here up and, up and down off the steering wheel, yeah. and it's got the um, the little paddle in the like the, the keypad in the middle there, yeah. which um, which you get your gears, you park, you reverse, you neutral, and drive. But you can still change, as you can see, the plus and minus from oh, the little man. the center thing as well as the the hand controls as well. So can you just put it in D and not have no. paddle? You've no. No, it's a lock box. Lock it's box. um it's a fully um manualized auto it is. Okay, now tell me. <laughs> so it's I'm trying to try and get this right so it's all right. It's still a um cable shifter so the actual box is under the actual driver's seat. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's actually just like a full B&M cable that runs your, your ratchet shifter that just comes out and goes to it. And there's a computer box under the seat right. and it's just got a motor in it. And every time you just pull a gear, it just pulls the motor backwards or forwards That's as, as you're doing it. Yeah. And then that is like the, the relay. Yeah, yeah, this is the a leakage. leakage. Yeah, yeah. That's just like a B&M, um, no the cable, you know, you just run for your, bat, your ratchet shifter. Yes, okay, yeah. right. Yeah. So I'll fire it all up and just put it loud, yeah. but we're not allowed to go, we're not. Yeah, so there's no drive in it. And so it's a custom boss kit, or is this an off-the-shelf boss kit? Off-the-shelf boss kit, off boss kit, yeah. And you just buy these, you know, the hang, they just go straight on. You I just buy longer. You're going to buy a paddle shifter, eh? Okay, yeah. I, I love well, that. Well, that's where you can see that PCS. Cool. You look them up on the net there. Yeah. We didn't get time to do this last time. Give us a bit of your history. How did you get into Datsuns originally? Uh, years before, I started off in Datsun 1600s before I had my accident. I, um, I had one that had the two litre, the twin Webbers and the five speed, and... You know, the 13 inch kidneys and all that was all the cool stuff back in the, yeah. the, you know, the, the, the mid 90s sort of thing. Yeah. Then I had my accident and they told me that I wouldn't be able to drive again. So I'd sold that Datsun and the Commodore that I had at the time being. And then 
Um, after I'd got out of hospital, me rehab and all that kind of stuff, my brother, he had a Datsun 180B that was auto. So we, um, he went inside and he got mum's mop and mum's broom and then he cut the ends off him and then he zip tied it and sticky taped into the Datsun and we drove round the block and round the block and then it's like, I think we got this and then we're out up down the highway and up the main street. We live Mainies, just drive up down the main street so I can take my mum's car. Yeah, we sort of did it up a bit. Yeah, there's different types of manies. Like you can do basic manies, which is just driving up and down and checking out what's going on, like calling out to chicks or whatever. Or you can do music manies, you just pump some music and that, just just full tunes blaring and that. Then after that, I am getting another Datsun. I think the week that week after, the, back in the trading post days, well, yeah. we got the trading post and then off to get the to get another Datsun. That's mad. And I've still got that in my shed now. That's the about uh, 20 years ago. That's the blue one. That's the blue one. Yeah, yep. Mad. yep. Yeah. I've still Which, got it. When mm. one day when yeah. they get yeah. finished, you can guarantee we'll be checking. it. So that's it for Grassroots Garage. Yeah. Uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks, Todd. Thanks for your time. No worries. Thank you. Appreciate it. Todd's shed has built some amazing Datsuns over the years. The car's becoming the campfire that draws them together and gives their Friday evening and purpose. We feel absolutely honoured to share this story with you. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.